Six months ago, the city of Grand Rapids started using four electric driverless vehicles to shuttle passengers around downtown. Well, the one year test period is about halfway over. Tonight, 13 on your side's Elena Holland looks at how things are going so far. We're riding here in the AVGR, the autonomous vehicle here in Grand Rapids. It's about halfway through its year long pilot program, and we met up with the fleet technician and the city to see how it was going. How you doing today? Perlin Monroe. Perlin Monroe, that's awesome. Please make sure you buckle your seatbelt. Yes, so you gotta make sure you're safe. Paul Holloman gears up for another rider in his vehicle. But don't call him a driver, he's a fleet technician. That's because this shuttle is driving itself. It feels like a ghost is driving because the steering wheel will move, the brakes will apply, the turn signal will come on. He's operating one of the autonomous vehicles around Grand Rapids. Today, the roads are a bit wet, so he's actually doing most of the driving. But he wipes off the sensors once the rain stops. That could cause potentially a problem. And lets the car take over. Grand Rapids partnered with the shuttle's parent company called May Mobility in July of last year. We are seeing, you know, about 400 people a day ride the vehicle. Um, it only seats six people at a time, and, you know, with only a couple vehicles in service throughout the day, that's a tremendous amount of response we've seen from, from the community. And there have been some updates to the program since it first launched. Just this month, May Mobility introduced a new on-demand vehicle with wheelchair access that complies with the Americans with Disabilities Act. And Holloman says he's seen changes to the route. We had some issues where the vehicle would pull into the stop either a little too little too, or a little too late. So they made that a lot smoother. Um, they've slowed down the speeds on Ottawa too to make it a lot safer. And these shuttles have proven to be fairly safe. There have been like a couple little crashes along the way, but nothing that is, there have been no injuries. The, the one that I was aware of was, you know, it's manual mode and it was somebody that just was like a fender bender. Here you go, sir. And for Holloman, he says being at the ground level of this technology is frankly pretty neat. This was things that I was watching as I was a kid, like on the Jetsons and things. So it's kind of interesting to see it start to happen right in front of me. In Grand Rapids, Elena Holland, 13 on your side.